Hello, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Adrien, and uh, today I'm going to present you a bit uh, the Cosmos ecosystem. I have to stay here. Okay. Tell me where. Yeah. Okay, cool. So yeah, I'm going to present you the Cosmos ecosystem uh, because uh, it's a large one and a new one, and it still uh, have a lot of engagement uh, today. So I have found uh, the Stake Lab, which is uh, validator services where you can uh, delegate uh, your Cosmos ecosystem coins. And we're going to just see before what's already uh, happened in the ecosystem. So first things uh, you already know, there is like Bitcoin, there is like Ethereum, and some of the uh, proof of stake ecosystem, Tezos, Avalanche, Tron, or Polkadot. But the main one we're going to see today is Cosmos. What's the difference between uh, each of them? It's uh, in uh, the first part, it's uh, working on the proof of work uh, consensus uh, mechanism. And the second one is working on the proof of stake. Ethereum is uh, going to move into the proof of stake uh, ecosystem with uh, Ethereum 2. Like, uh, you know, it's like tons of time we are waiting for it, and it's still not happening. So this is why the proof of stake takes a lot of engagement today. And we're going to see quickly uh, with uh, this little one, Atom, the Cosmos one, what's the difference between uh, each other. So the first thing is to understand uh, how does it work uh, technically behind. So the proof of work, it's large mining things uh, run it by entity and not individual people. There is still uh, some indiv individual people trying to run it, but it's not really profitable. And uh, yeah, it's working with a computer computational uh, e execution. So if you have uh, only a little computer, you have a little chance only to get uh, the block and resolve uh, the, uh, the, the arbitrary like puzzle. And if you don't make it, you don't win anything. And on the other hand, you have like the proof of stake. And the proof of stake is basically one people uh, be behind one computer uh, running a single node uh, with a not much resource. So everyone can make it, and we will see uh, why uh, it's actually cool and easy to make it. So why the internet of blockchain? So Cosmos is created uh, uh, with a tendermit that creates like the Cosmos SDK. And you can see it like um, a Lego. When you have like a Lego, you can just like put more Lego on top of it and create uh, another thing. So you have the base, uh, which is like the Cosmos SDK, and you can create module uh, on top of it. There is like the first one, the governance, the stacking, the slashing, the ABC one, the bank and the hosts one, which is which are like created. You can just fork it uh, when using the Cosmos SDK and create your own blockchain. <coughs> the ABC one is like the most important one because it's the one that creates uh, the interoperability uh, between uh, each chains. So here you can see like a pretty difficult uh, things and you say like, okay, uh, I don't understand anything about this, uh, but it's pretty easy. You have like one chain uh, that we will call like chain A and a second one that we will name chain B. So how does it work? It's just like one full node on each side and they are just like relaying some packet and just sending like acknowledge a transaction. So on the one side, you will have like, for example, the block 10 that will send uh, just the, the first transaction like, hey, uh, this is like the block and we want to send uh, value with tokens on your chain. The second one at block uh, 12, for example, will receive the confirmation and say, okay, we will receive uh, the, the amount of money. And then just move the coin and uh, everyone uh, will just saw in on the blockchain the movement of the <coughs> of the token. So we can resume it uh, with something uh, very simple, which is Hermes. Hermes, uh, here you can just scan the QR code if you want to see the documentation. It, it can be like a, something like pretty hard, but it's like the main things, it's rallying. And when it comes to rallying, we will create channels. So for example, if you take a first chain, the, the name is chain ID A and the second one is chain ID B. We can take Cosmos, for example, which is Cosmos Hub 4, and the Chihuahua chain, for example, is Chihuahua 1. And then we will just like create a first client that will open uh, the first thing, and we will go a second transaction to create the connection, and a third one to create the channel. It's literally just 
three things. When you have done these three things, you have you have created like a channel between uh, two blockchains, and you can send directly uh, your funds uh, from one chain to another. It's working with literally three lines of code. <coughs> so pretty easy. In fact, you just have a quick configuration uh, on the Hermes uh, application, where you, you just will put uh, addresses uh, to uh, to uh, full node, as said before. So when you create this, you just have like the, the channels. And when you put the channels, well, it's working. And then you can see uh, the transaction going. So it will check on both sides. And when it receives like the confirmation, it li literally just do the transaction and then acknowledge the fact that the coins uh, go to another chain. So that makes uh, everything like working pretty easy because uh, literally all Cosmos new chain uh, got it like implemented uh, already. You just have after that to create the channels and <coughs> and move on. So yeah, not working uh, at the same way like if you take uh, Ethereum or another thing. So okay, uh, you can understand like by this that okay, I can create a chain like pretty easy, create value from it. This is like what Cosmos uh, will try to implement you. So boom, this is what you have. So there is already more than 40 chains that are uh, connected uh, each other uh, using the whole layers. <coughs> you have to understand like uh, one year ago, it was just implement. So there was just like Cosmos. And in one year, there is already like more than four, uh, 40 chains. So it will uh, grow very fast and create a lot of value. The thing is, when you are you have a project, for example, and you want to create value and add a, a blockchain on top of it, for example, if you you have a businesses and uh, you want to just like have a register and uh, all your transaction on, on it, you can just like fork it and you got uh, something called Stargate that makes you able uh, to, uh, in three or four clicks, let's say, uh, create your own blockchain and after that, rally uh, to uh, to the each other and create value. So wow, <laughs> this is very amazing! Like such ecosystem uh, is working like so easy. I, I wanna, I wanna learn and I, I wanna like start my business in in this. So let's see uh, how we can manage um, a node, uh, pretty easy and pretty fast in the Cosmos ecosystem. You have to understand like as the base is the same, it's literally the same thing for everything. So when you create a chain, for example, if you take Osmosis, it will be Osmosis D as the client name. So all of this uh, will be in CLI, which is the common line interface. And it's working uh, with, for example, Linux. So if I started, oh, I will manage my uh, node in Cosmos ecosystem. So the first thing is I'm going to install the binaries. So it's literally, as you say, uh, five line of code. So you will uh, clone the code uh, directly uh, from uh, GitHub, and you will uh, put the, the last release, for example, of the binaries. After that, you will just uh, install it and launch it. So you init the chain, and once you, once you have done like the init chains, you will have to just take the last genesis that will uh, makes all the address uh, reported uh, to, uh, to 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 the, to the chain. And then just download the chain. And once you have done it, you can just start the chain after just some configuration. So there is two files. One's for the configuration. Uh, it's, it's like if you want to change your name, for example, and the app, uh, which is uh, the part when you can change like the addresses uh, with the port. So after that, you just launch your chain. And that's it. You already have done it. So OK. Um, it's pretty easy, so let's see if we can make it in few clicks and say this is pretty much it in few clicks. So I start with uh, the beginning, so I will install my my binaries. So I take the first one. I have my server. I already installed the package, but it's not. Uh, it, it, it's all on the <coughs> on the GitHub. It's pretty easy. It's so just to save some time. So I'm starting to clone. Once I have, oh, I hope my connection will work. It's demo time. OK, when it's done, I'm going to just move. Let's move this. 
to the folder. Once I'm in the folder, I will check out the last version. Oop. And then I will just install the binaries. The binaries is what will make me uh, able to uh, do transaction uh, directly from my computer. So after that, I will be able to send, uh, for example, from my own account uh, tokens and not interact like directly uh, with, uh, I don't know, Kepler, for example, or if you prefer uh, MetaMask. But that's how it works behind. So once you have it, you can check the, the version, if it's working well, if you have done like the <coughs> good pass. So I will check the version. I have the version working well, so all is good. So now, what I'm going to do is init my chain. So I want to init. I will say a test, for example. And then, boom, that's it. I have, if I check, my new folder, which is um, .osmosisd. Uh, in, this, uh, in this folder, I have uh, all my specification, and we'll be able to put my data. So as I said, after that, I will put uh, the, the new genesis to be sure that I'm on the last version. So, oops. What? Hmm? Have we done? Oh, how can I make it uh, visible? Uh, I don't think I can <laughs> size it, so <laughs> I don't know if you see it like well on the screen at least. Okay, <laughs> sorry for your loss, guys. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna uh, like end it so people can just like see uh, the rest. So. Okay, I uh, I have this and uh, sorry for I, if you wanna come like you, you can you can just come here and just like look with me on this on the stage it's it's pretty fine, so everything is ready and uh, I have just like one other thing to do is like to put the data that we can uh, already like download from uh, any snapshot to make it like pretty faster I have already downloaded it so I'm gonna just move. Uh, quickly the data. Before that, I'm going to just erase the first one. And I'm going to, up data. And I'm going to put it right here. That's it. And then, now, I should be able to just add uh, before. Uh, some specification and just like directly osmosis the start and if I'm good okay everything is good it's just like missing one things I think well uh, there is like some people uh, providing snapshots so you are able uh, to directly download uh, like if you prefer an archive node or just a default one and a custom one. Custom one is like the, the best one uh, when it's come like to uh, validating because you don't need like the full register of the blockchain. Archive node is just like to save the information and be sure that uh, everything that happened before uh, happened. <laughs> um, but when it's come to validating, you just like need even 10 blocks is fine. So you can prune everything and uh, just like resize uh, to make it like very small. Like. Here is like a, a it's it's a big server that I, that, that I take. But for example, managing like a Cosmos node uh, could be done like with a I don't know like forty uh, forty or fifty dollar uh, uh, per month server. You don't need like a big one. This is right. what I say. Like it's pretty much like more easy to anyone to access it. And even with that, uh, you can manage like one or two three nodes uh, per server right. if you prune it well and just. Uh, do some configuration, then uh, you can put like a lot of them. Thank you. I'm going to repeat the magic quick. Just need the last things. 
So if you still have questions, waiting for them. I got the question, so uh, yeah. Um, what's your uh, experience? The, what's the main difference um, with, for example, Ethereum management? Uh, you said it's yeah, kind of yeah. really easier, but what's also, um, for example, problems as non manager can be really stressful? And um, what's, the, what's your feeling about this? Okay, so. I didn't explain it like very well, but you have like two kinds of things. Like running this is just like running a full node. Running a full node, you you have literally just nothing, no problem. You won't be slashed or anything like that. It's just like running the registry behind, and uh, you can use it uh, for your own purpose. And uh, if you want to check the data, uh, scrapping the blockchain, uh, or if you want to create like arbitrary boat or anything you want. Basically, it's just this. But when it comes like to validating, there is like a few things that we can see here, if you want, um, that will uh, be very important to remember. You have one specific file, which is the private validator key, and the private private validator key is like the um, the key, the private key, with which you will sign every block. So when you are running a validator and not a full node. This key is very specific. If you use it like on two servers at the same time, uh, you will get slashed because you will double sign. And this is like the things you will like be scary a lot. Like if you are a validator and makes this uh, mistake, uh, literally you lost your validator and you won't be able uh, to uh, to recreate uh, the same one using the same key. You will uh, need to move all your funds to another one and uh, just like put it. Uh, on it. So actually, on, in this ecosystem, it's a, a really a politic one. Uh, there is like the governance things, uh, which, which has like a lot of engagement uh, today. It's literally just like the politics. So when you run a validator uh, and you take like a decision to vote on a, on a specific proposal and just say yes or no, for example, um, people can just uh, say, uh, I don't know, pretty much things like, you have to, to be like very specific. And for example, if, if you misbehave uh, on validating, everyone will shut on you uh, on, uh, on social media and, uh, and you don't want this uh, because it's literally, uh, you are an entity, you are a brand, and you have to, to do the, the good things. And yeah, for example, uh, as you said, uh, Running like an ETH node uh, is pretty different. It's not like very hard to run one, but it's bigger, like uh, Ethereum doesn't scale. Uh, this is why it's moving uh, literally to, to proof of stake. And even with that, this is not working. And this is why we have like the internet of blockchain. When you have like one uh, specific uh, chain and a uh, lot of uh, application behind, then you will have like all the transaction from every chain running on the same one. So it's not really scalable. So when it comes to the internet of blockchain, when you have like a specific application, let's say Uniswap, you have a lot of uh, transaction because you are uh, an AMM. And, and then you can just like create your own chain, like what did uh, Osmosis. And then uh, you just like not put all your transaction on the same one. You just make relay uh, between, uh, between the chain if you want to transfer it uh, to one to another. But you reduce the load on it. So this is why it's not uh, very uh, like uh, resourceful. And yeah. Let's finish this. So we started the, the chain, but we missed something, which is here. Oops. OK. <coughs> OK, so we retry this. We're going to just open the config file. And not that easy with one end. 
Okay, so this is my config file, just here. There's a lot of things, but yeah, but really you don't need everything. And I'm gonna just add, okay, there is the seed already, so what's going on? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is this is bad. Uh, Adrien, yes. I have a question from the, the validator, the, the pool. Yes. So um, when we are choosing a validator and we are uh, staking uh, Atom, um, and because there is like a lot of validator, um, I want to know if there is only one validator that validates each block and it's like random, or you have more pods to validate if you are, the, the, the more stake you have, the more chance you have to validate something. <laughs> and uh, yeah, basically, um, is there only one validator that valid each block, or is there like a lot of validator that can validate the same block? Yeah, so <coughs> this is the difference like uh, with uh, proof of work and proof of stake. In proof of work, everyone is like dueling to have like the, the block and the reward of it. Uh, in proof of stake, uh, it's just like sharing uh, the the full pool, like everyone got like a percentage uh, of the chain staked on, on his validator. There is an, act an active set. Only the active set benefits from the rewards. And yeah, you, you won't sign every block. It's just like you have the a percentage and you have this percentage of thrones to uh, make the block. If you make the block, you don't earn more than any others. It's just like a pool of, of validators. And for example, in Cosmos, there is a 175 uh, validators, and some people can say like it's not decentralized, but at least like I think it's I think it is like to shut down the the network you have you need like 51% uh, uh, to make like for example a civil attack, and uh, it's not really easy uh, when it's come like to have like this amount, like you you will need like 70 uh, entity private key uh, to make uh, shut down like the 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 network, so it's literally like. Pretty much impossible. <laughs> uh, you maybe did see like the running uh, attack uh, on the bridge, uh, which cost like uh, 800 millions, but it was literally no validators and five of them managing by the same one. So yeah, nine is not really decentralized. Uh, when it's, when you didn't check, like uh, in fact, like each entity uh, uh, is the same one. So this is something um, maybe you, uh, we should discuss. Is like. Maybe uh, one time uh, we will have like to KIC uh, all validators to be sure that they are like a specific entity and it's not like uh, directly uh, one guy managing like a lot of nodes. We did have like a few uh, few drama on Cosmos uh, ecosystem uh, <laughs> managed by some people a uh, few 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 weeks ago. But yeah, it, it's still like very decentralized and uh, and working well. So that's it. And here you can see. We are already on the last block of the blockchain. So if you are, literally it did take like 10 minutes plus some uh, bugs. <laughs> but uh, I am already like sync with the chain and I'm I'm able right now to, to to do like whatever I want with this. So if I do like a few, uh, few things, I can create my own validators and uh, it will name test. I will put like, for example, one token of it on it. But I will be like on the inactive set. On the inactive set, I won't be able to uh, get rewards. For that, I need to be on the active uh, set, as I said. And for that, uh, actually, it was pretty easy, like yes, last year, to to be able to do it. And now it's pretty hard. Uh, you will need like a few hundreds uh, of k uh, to to manage to to get in the active set. So this is why it's important uh, to, um, as a developer, I don't know if you if you are guys uh, using like Go or or Rust language, but if you are, uh, just go uh, on directly on the GitHub of uh, Cosmos or any chains working on it, uh, create value on it, and they are able to give you grants to make you able to have like your own brand, or even if you are an individual one, to have like your own business, and I think it's cool. And that's it. Thank you.
maybe we have about five minutes more for questions if people are here do not hesitate uh, I got one um, <laughs> yeah sorry spamming the mic um, <laughs> what's the most exciting project uh, you detected on Osmosi on Cosmos oh uh, pretty hard to say uh, there is like a lot of new things the last one was Evmos we can say like EVM OS, I don't know. It depends on the people. Uh, Evmos is like uh, is like Ethereum but on Cosmos. So you have like the directly implemented on the Cosmos chain the EVM compatibility. You have seen maybe uh, Chronos uh, create like a side chain uh, EVM compatible. You have also Kava that done the same, but uh, it, it's just like a side chain, and then they just like manage the connection between it. Um, it was just like implemented like directly on it, and it's like a relaunch like two days ago. And in two days, is, there is like already like millions of transactions. So there is, it's pretty much the same. So you will see, uh, for example, in uh, in the Ethereum one, uh, creating like DApps like Uniswap or anything like that, and it's literally the same thing working the same way. So people create like uh, some fork of. Um, of Uniswap, but managing the bridge uh, between uh, Evmos and uh, Ethereum. So you will be able, for example, to send uh, ETH to uh, WETH, like the rapid one, and be able to manage them directly on the Evmos chain. So put them, put uh, like all the value from Ethereum and just bridge it directly uh, into the, the Cosmos one. So I think this is like the most exciting thing uh, because it's totally new in the ecosystem. And yeah. I think this is the one. Thank you. Thank you. You, c you can look at the blocks going if you want. <laughs> 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 <laughs>